Okay, most people aren't gonna know this one. Um, this video game. Uh, it's not really a video game. It's, it's a educational computer game. I know what you're, I know what you're thinking. How could an educational computer game scare you, Shock? Well, I don't know. That is very scary. Play it for yourself. Okay, look at this footage I have. All right, this is what you have to do in this game. In this game, you are a student at the school, but you were sick this day, so you didn't go to school. And today at school, they had a substitute teacher who was a witch, and the witch like turns all your all your classmates into monsters, and um, like, and it turns every, turns everything into like a swamp and haunted place of ruins or whatever. I guess. And it's your job to turn all the, all the classmates back to normal and remove her, remove the witch's, witch's curse or whatever. And in order to do that, you have to go to this fort and tell the lady, she's like, hey, here, what, what, here's what you need to do. Complete this quest, complete this quest, complete this quest, blah, 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 blah. And then, like, after you do all this crap, you have to go to the witch's place, something, I think, and you get the monster back home. And it's basically mostly just a bunch of educational games, and, it, and the game takes forever to complete, of course, because there's so many freaking classmates to do, and you have to do the, do the, do, it's like three mini games, or three Whoa. educational games for each person. It takes forever! It's called, ju oh, sorry, I forgot to tell you the name of the game, Jumpstart Fourth Grade. I think it's Adventures. And... When I played that game as a kid, I was just freaked out. Because when you're walking around, it's just so scary. You're like, you don't know where to go because the map doesn't really help you. You have to use the map to go some, to places. You have to click on the, click on the places to go to the map if you want to know what, if you want to get there. Because if you try and follow the map and go around and, um, and try to follow the map, you're going to get lost and you won't be able to find where the heck you're supposed to go. I've tried it. You, the following the map takes forever to get to where you want to go, so you might as well just click on that place you want to go and have it teleport you there. And it doesn't cost you any points or anything. I tried it, nothing goes away when I do it, so it's fine. So, anyway, that game is so scary, and that witch is scary because she appears out of nowhere when you're walking around and you think she's gonna kill you or something, but she doesn't do anything. She's like, ha ha ha, you're never gonna do, you're never gonna. Um, complete your quest or whatever. I don't know what he says. He slaps and says, "You know, get to complete your thing." It's just so scary. It's, it's it's dark. It's all CGI looking, and there's like ghosts everywhere. And you just and and for kids, this would be so scary for them. It's like, why would they make things in games so scary that the kids would not want to play them? Because and a, a game made for kids. That um, they don't want to play them. That they'd be like, "Oh my God, it's so scary! I don't want to play this game anymore. It gives it me nightmares." That's how how I felt. I wouldn't. I did not want to play Mario 64 after uh, after that Bowser thing when I when I played that game. But of course, I got over it, and you know, I um was able to overcome my fear. But I still have, I still get scared of Resident Evil, and I guess the Reddit kind of scared me. I don't know. I just got said that we did scared him, um, and the um, the the jumpstart fourth grade game. Yeah, that that kind of scares me now, but it's not that bad as it was when I was a kid. When you're a kid, a lot of things can be scary to you. Even the the QT scary ones are not really that supposed to be that scary. Anyway, that's my um, horrors of video games that I've encountered when I was a kid. That Creep freaked me out when it's a kid. Hope you enjoyed it.